guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about evaluating functions. This topic is almost the same as evaluating algebraic expressions, wherein ang target mo lang dito is to substitute a specific value of a variable to the given function for you to evaluate it. So para mas naiintindihan mo yung topic natin, let's have this. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, examples natin, evaluate each function. So, I have here one, two, three examples for us to master and know well on how to evaluate function. For number one, here's, here's the given function this uh, f of x is equal to 2x minus 4. Again, this is your function. And you are asked, find f of 4. Again, find f of 4. Your f of 4 here, let me elaborate this topic first. Your f of 4 here is the same as f of x. Again, they are equal. So as you can see, guys, by inspection, we can say that 4 and x are equal. So we can have x is equal to 4. I think since I have to say, guys, that we have value of a specific variable like this one, we can plug in natin sa original function. So let's go to it. So let's have this one. So f of 4. Since f of 4 is equal to f of x, we can, since they are equal, palitan natin yung 2x natin, 2x minus 4 na itong f of x natin. So it will become f of 4 is equal to 2x minus 4. So again, this is your x. Yung 4 natin is your x. So we can substitute the value of 4 to the variable here. First, to evaluate this function. So it will become 2 times your x, which is 4 minus 4 okay so it will give us 2 times 4 which is 8 minus 4 and simply the value of f of 4 is equal to 4 this is the answer for item number 1 so, okay f of x uh, sorry f of 4 is equal to 4 yeah ganyan siya so we can erase this let's move on with item number 2 for item number 2, we have the function g. So we are given g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7. Again, g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7. And find g of negative 3. So it will become like this. We have g of negative 3. Copy this part of the function is equal to 3x squared plus 7. So again, this is the value of your x. You will replace x by negative 3. So it will become 3 times negative 3 squared. Again, 3 times negative 3 because this is x and then squared plus 7. What you will do is you will simplify first this part. And negative 3 squared is the same as 9. So it will become 3 times 9. Sir, bakit po 9? Because negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9 plus 7. And simplify this. 3 times 9 is 27. Okay? Plus 7. And your g of negative 3 is equal to 34. This is the value of g of negative 3. So we can have here g of negative 3 is equal to 34. That's it for item number 2. Now, let's move on. I just added it on the odd deck. G of negative 3 is equal to 34. Now, let's move on with item number 3. So, uh, item number 3 is quite different from numbers 1, 2, 1 and 2, but still, same process. So, we have here P of X is equal to 2X squared plus 5X minus 1. And find, find p of 0 and p of negative 1. So in this case, guys, we're given a single function. We're given a single function. And then we're asked to evaluate twice. Evaluate it twice. One is p of 0 and the other is p of negative 1. Same process lang, guys. So let's have... P 
of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. And let's start with p of 0. p of 0 is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. We will replace your x by 0, guys. So it will become p of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 1. Obviously, guys, this part, when you simplify this, is equal to 0. I will explain it. 0 raised to the second power is 0. So it will become 2 times 0. Okay? Plus 0 minus 1. So, kung mapansin nyo, guys, 2 times 0 is 0. So, ang mangyari ngayon dito, guys, it will become 0 plus 0 minus 1. In which, when you simplify this, your P of 0 is simply equal to negative 1. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin for P of 0. Okay? And for P of negative 1, so we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 1. We will replace x by negative 1. So it will become P of negative 1. Kinukompleto ko ng konti yung right side na kasi kanina sa examples na natin wala tayong nilalagay sa right side. So it will become 2 times negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1. We, will, we are replacing x by negative 1 minus 1. And simplify negative 1 squared that is the same as negative 1 times negative 1. So magiging positive siya. That is 2 times 1. And then 5 times negative 1 that is negative 5. So it will become minus 5 minus 1. And simplifying this, 2 times 1, that is 2, negative 5, minus 1. And simplify natin itong tatlo na to. Your P of negative 1 is equal to 2 minus 5 minus 1. That is negative 4. So this is the answer for P of negative 1 in evaluating this function. So for your Activity and for me to check if your answer is correct. I will give you an example. The for example P in which I will give you function K Okay K of X is equal to negative 2 X squared Plus 10 and then I will ask you to find K of 3 and K of negative 2. So, yan yung challenge ko sa inyo after this activity or after this lesson. I hope na masagutan nyo ito. And if you can give me your, ano, your answer, feel free to put your answer sa ating comment section. Again, ilagay mo po yung answer mo sa ating comment section para makita ko kung tama ba magiging sagot mo. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!